you no longer have to um, print a form just for you to be able to fill it and then sign it offline with a pen to scan it back to submit the form. I want to show you how you can fill and sign documents online without having to go through all of those stress. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. I was opening an account in the bank and I was sent some reference forms for people to fill for me. And I was surprised that quite a number of persons I was asking to fill the form were saying that so I'll have to print it, fill it, and then sign it in the 21st century. Then I realized that there is need for this tutorial on how you can get your files filled or get your forms or documents filled and then sign on your smartphone so we are going to be using two methods all right so the first one we are going to be doing it with microsoft office on your phone and then we're going to try the second method first off you need to download and install if you don't already on microsoft 365 on your phone or your tab okay so once you've done that the next thing is to download the document or the form which probably would be in pdf okay but if it's not in pdf if it's in doc that's doc it's still okay but most times these documents come in pdf files all right so when you get to your when you've installed you open your ms office all right so this is the reference from my got from the bank all right i'm about to give the bank a free promotion right now okay so this is the reference from my got from the bank so it's gonna come this way for instance okay so what do you do i'm gonna tap on it and then you're going to see edit okay so once you see edit so the next thing you want to do is to tap on the t which means test all right so let's assume that i want to add my name to the form okay frederick nam all right so this is my name i've added to the form but you can see that it broke my name into two right okay i've already brought it back to normal all right so i'm going to put it right here then another thing is aside on um, the blue font all right you can also tap here if you want to change it to black just in case um the um company tells you please we need you to fill it in this color although that has never been the case all right so oh, over here is also where you can increase the font size if you need to okay so this is where you can increase the font size if you need to all right so once you've done that one okay so i just needed to extend this from using this part all right so once you've done that you can just go ahead and keep filling the form with every other information that is required of you but that's not all the next thing is how do you sign the document all right so when i have finished filling this form the next thing i'm going to tick good all right then i'm going to tap on more okay then you see signature mode all right now it's on signature mode okay so it says tap where you want to sign so this is where i'm expected to sign so you can see that there is already a signature here but i'm not going to use this one i'm going to delete it or i'm going to tap on add new add new and it now requests for me to sign all right so i'm just going to flip my phone over this way and then i'm going to sign okay so i have signed it if i want to change it to green i can see change it but let's keep it at black then you can also see stock so let's just assume that this is the signature i have already signed okay so next this is it right so i'm just going to do what i'm going to just reduce it okay reduce the size okay and then take it up to where it is meant to be all right so by doing this i have completely filled and signed this document so the next thing i will do is i'm just going to tick here all right and then i'm going to tap on more and then save as then i'm going to save this uh probably i might just add signed okay i might just add sign find a place on my phone okay and simply save it and go ahead to upload it to wherever i was requested of that's the first method now the second method is using canva all right this is how you can do that with canva so first off i'm going to find that document okay obviously you should have canva already on your phone this is the document all right i'm going to tap on it okay so it's going to ask me to open in canva 
all right so i'm opening it right now all right so this is the document that i want to view on canva all right so if you already know how to use canva i guess this is now a walk in the park for you okay but i believe most people watching this do not know <laughs> that they can um fill a document with canva all right so i'm gonna tap on my plus sign and then i'm going to find my tests okay so once you find your test you can find um add a test boss okay so next thing i would um so this is the test boss by the way i can expand it all right and then start filling my form right away okay so once you've done this um you're gonna have to reduce the test okay place it where you want to place it all right and do the same thing to the rest of the parameters that they are asking you for all right so the next thing is now to sign on canva this is where most people do not know how to so if you still tap on that same plus sign okay and just swipe to the left i guess and then you see gonna see draw all right so once you select draw select this particular um pen and then you can change it to the color that you've been using to fill your document which is black in our case all right so the next thing i'm just going to come to my screen and simply sign so once this is done i can now get back to tests okay then i would have to now reduce this okay reduce the signature and then turn it to however way it's supposed to be okay and then put it where i need the signature art all right so here all right so i can also decide to do, um duplicate the signature all right and put it if your signature is required in two places but by doing this you have already signed your document okay so i want to tap up here okay and then in the, in the download you cannot export this as png so you need to export it as pdf again all right download it and then upload it to the um website or wherever that the form is required of you do you think that the scanner is an electronic device that is about to go obsolete let me know on the comments down below the reason is the smartphone is almost is about to replace the scanner i did a video on how to scan document with your smartphone i'm going to leave it over here for you to watch and also check out this playlist down here if you want to keep watching more smartphone tutorials and if the video they are currently recommending for you here is what you wouldn't want to miss do watch it and again if you get to subscribe hit this button up here to subscribe to my channel with this thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one.